Hello, my name is Ji Hun Lee. I am an OISANS professor in Texas State University and a TIA project team member. In the previous webinar, Bajit explained the types of data district needs to submit and how to submit the data. In this webinar, I will explain how Texas State will analyze the data to verify district designation of their teachers. The goal of this process is to verify each district's designation of their teachers. For doing this, Texas Tech will evaluate teaching competency of teachers who earn a designation by comparing their observation score and student growth score within the district as well as across the state. The verification process proceed in three steps. First, district submit data. The data they submit contain information about all eligible teachers who own a designation by the district as well as those who did not own a designation. Second, Texas Tech analyzes the data and gives a score for each district using the analysis results and a scoring rubric. The verification rubric has been developed by Texas Tech and TEA to include various domains and include indicators of reliable and valid designation of teachers. Once the analysis is done, Finally, Texas State reports the verification scores to TEA. The rubric we will use for verification process includes four different domains. A, relation of ratings between teacher observation and student growth. Domain B, relation of ratings between student growth and value added model. Domain C, consistency of ratings across campuses and across teaching assignments. And lastly, domain D, consistency of designation rates to statewide performance standard. And from here, we will see each domain and their indicators. For domain A, the purpose is to confirm that teachers who own a designation are bringing about levels of growth commensurate with the district designation. The first indicator, we will calculate correlation coefficients between teacher observation score and student growth score among all eligible teachers in the district. Our interest is whether the correlation is within the expected range. For indicator two and three, we will construct tables of teachers to see how much the observation ratings are in accordance with their some gross ratings that are derived from star or non-star measures. Domain B is to confirm that district calculation of student growth is aligned with the state level in descriptors of student growth. There is only one indicator, which is indicator four. For this, we will calculate Kramer's V to measure how much the proportions of designated teachers in the districts are similar to the statewide proportions. Domain C is to confirm that observation readings and student performance are determined in a consistent manner across campus and across teaching assignments. There are four indicators from five to eight. For this, we will co conduct analysis of variance to compare the scores of all eligible teachers 
between different campuses and between different teaching assignments. So we will do separate analysis for uh, observation score and also for a growth score. The last domain D. Domain D is to come from the distribution of waste in each district are aligned with the statewide projections of the proportions of designated teachers. There are two indicators, indicator nine. For this, we will examine if the percentage of our students who meet or exceed expected goals in the district is approximate or equal to the statewide performance standards for growth, separately for each of three degeneration levels. The last indicator, 10, we will calculate Kramer's V to measure how much the proportions of degenerated teachers in the districts are similar to the proportions in other districts, the same domain 2A degeneration group. In summary, Texas Tech and TA will examine the reliability and validity of each district's designation of their teachers. Using the data that the district provides in a standard rubric that taps on multiple domains and indicators. I understand you may have uh, questions, so I make questions myself first. And I think you may wonder what the consequences are if the verification score is low for your district. And TA said, TA will take into consideration of the verification analysis results when they make the final decision about system approval. Here is another question I made. What are the consequences if the verification score is partial for my district because we submitted teacher observation score or student growth score only. According to TIA, TA, TA has written into a rule about the one component systems for court A and the data options for 2019-20 data structure. Therefore, there is not a negative impact if districts submit observation or growth scores in those cases specifically. If districts are submitting data with only one component outside of these cases, then they would not qualify for TIA. If you have questions regarding the process of uh, degeneration verification, uh, please feel free to email to TIA at TTU.edu. Thank you for your time.